Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am not unboxing a subscription box as you can see from the title, but I am going to be doing a favorites and flops video for the month of June. So this month I do have 10 favorites and one flop. If you're into videos like this plus subscription box unboxings, go ahead and subscribe because I post videos like this all the time, but otherwise we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So I do have my products listed like on my little notebook here because it does have like their prices and what they retail for and where I got them from in case you are interested. So the first item is from It Cosmetics and this is their Je ne sais quoi Complexion Perfection Face Palette. So this retails for $42, but it was recently on sale on their website for $25, but it was sold out. Now I'm assuming it was sold out because it was on sale and people purchased it, and I'm hoping that it will be restocked because I love this palette. So I did get this palette in an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus last year. And I will say that when I saw it in the spoilers, I was not excited. I was like, I really do not want this palette. I wish they didn't send it to me. Now that I have the palette, I absolutely love it. I don't know what I would do without it. So it does have a very large mirror, but I'm not going to blind you. And fair warning, mine is a little bit messy. But here are what the products look like. So you do have a bronzer, a highlighter, a blush, and a powder. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch them. Okay, so here are the four shades right here. So the first one is the Bye Bye Pores Blush in Je ne sais quoi. Then there's the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Translucent Powder. The Sunshine in a Compact Bronzer in the shade Warmth. And then the Perfect Lighting Luminizer in Je ne sais quoi. So these are absolutely beautiful. I will say for my skin tone, these are absolutely perfect. They just leave my skin with a nice, healthy glow. The translucent powder really does a good job at covering my pores and helping to mattify my skin with oiliness. I love this palette so much. It's the perfect face palette. Great for travel because it's all in one. And I will say that I really love that it comes with stuff from the Bye Bye Pores line because it really does make a difference. I love this palette. I would recommend it 100%. It's definitely my favorite face palette on the market at the moment. So the next item that I have as my favorite is from Too Faced, and this is, almost dropped it, but I caught it. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. It retails for $33 for 1.23 fluid ounces. I absolutely love this powder. I love the peach collection as a whole. This powder smells fantastic. It's like the best peach scent ever. It does have a little closure, and then when you open it, it does have a little peach outline and all of the powder. If you have oily skin, this powder is perfect for you. It does a fantastic job at smoothing out my skin, covering my pores, helping to keep my skin oil free all day long. This looks beautiful on top of the Too Faced foundation and other foundations and CC and BB creams as well. Highly recommend this. It does not look cakey or powdery on the skin and I absolutely love this powder. It is one of my favorites. For $33, you do get 1.23 ounces and I feel like that is larger than other powders so it's not a horrible price on the market. My only complaint is that they don't sell it at Ulta. This is only on the Too Faced website and at Sephora. I really wish they would have this at Ulta because I shop there much more frequently than Sephora but when I do need to pick it up, I will definitely go to Sephora, but I love this powder. And if you're very sensitive to scents, this powder is not like super strong scented, so you will be okay. So the next item that I have is like the perfect summer setting spray, and this is from Kula, which I love that brand. This is their Makeup Setting Sunscreen Spray SPF 30. So this retails for $36 for 1.5 fluid ounces, but I did find this at Marshalls the other day for $19.99. So if you want it but don't want to pay full price, definitely keep an eye out at your Marshalls. But I really love this setting spray. It contains 70% organic ingredients. It's water and sweat resistant for 80 minutes. It comes in nice frosted glass packaging. And I just feel like this does a great job at like extending your makeup life when you're outdoors. And it also gives you that added coverage of SPF. So I usually wear this when I go to the pool or the beach. I usually just put on like a light foundation with SPF in it use a setting or a setting powder yeah to make sure it stays and then I put this setting spray and it really does extend the life of your makeup outdoors like I wore this to the beach the other day I was in the ocean applying sunscreen getting sand all over the place and I feel like my makeup still looked kind of decent not that I was trying to like look fantastic while at the beach I was mostly doing it to like cover redness and acne scarring but this product worked really well it has a very nice little spray application my only complaint is that it does kind of sting your face for a couple seconds when you apply it. And I honestly feel like that's because when I smell it, it just has like a strong alcohol scent, like rubbing alcohol. 
so I'm thinking that might have something to do with it but it only stings for a couple seconds and then it's fine. I also have this in like a little travel size that I take to the beach so I really love this product. I recommend it 100% and although it does sting a little bit I would definitely repurchase it. So the next item is a little bit different for a favorite and this is a food item from Universal Yums. I want to say this was their April box. I don't know how to pronounce it so I'm just going to hold it up but I basically just call these like wafer cookies and they are absolutely delicious. I don't have any left so I'm really sad to see this packaging because I really want them but here's what they look like. They have just like a nice flaky cookie and then like icing in the middle. Absolutely delicious. I tried looking on the Universal Yum website. Unfortunately they do not have them. Tried looking on Amazon. Cannot find something. So if you know of something similar to this please comment down below because I would definitely repurchase it and buy it. That's how much I loved these and I haven't found something quite like it in America yet. So the next item is another item from It Cosmetics and it is their Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer with SPF 50. So this retails for $39.50 for one ounce. I do have it in the shade Light. This is very lightweight on the skin. I absolutely love this. It honestly gives you the coverage like a full coverage foundation. It's beautiful, but it gives you the added SPF bonus. It does have a nice pump applicator. Honestly, one to two pumps gives you like full coverage on the face. It covers redness. It conceals acne. It's fantastic. I love this. I think this is even better than like my highest rated foundations. That's how much I love this. This product is fantastic. I did get it in an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus last year but I would repurchase this 100%. A little does go a long way, thankfully, so I do have a lot of use out of this. But this is perfect for summer. It's perfect for every day. I wear it even if I'm not going outside because that's how great the coverage is. I recommend this 100%. I do set this with a setting powder just because I do have oily skin and it really does make a difference as well. So the next item is an item that I got from Bombay and Cedar, but this is from Grow Fragrance. It's their Bamboo Air and Fabric Freshener. It retails for $12 on their website, but they do have a sale right now where you get them two for $20. This is five fluid ounces. It's 100% plant-based, and I do have mine in the scent Bamboo. So it's toxin-free, phthalate-free, and paraben-free. Apparently, two to three sprays is good for a bathroom, and five to six sprays is good for a bedroom or an office. It does have, like, a little lock here, so then you just unlock it, and then you can... Wait, I actually just locked it. Never mind. And then you can spray it. It has a very subtle spray. I don't know why I'm spraying this all over me like it's fragrance because it's not. But this bamboo scent is just so light and natural and fresh. I love it. This does a great job at just freshening up in room. And if you are very sensitive to scents, this scent is not going to bother you at all because it's just so light and natural that it's just beautiful to smell, honestly. And I love this product so much. When I run out, I probably would go on the website and repurchase some for the two for 20 sale because they're just they're great and honestly like a little goes a long way i still have so much in here and i've used it quite a few times going on to another makeup item this is from tristique and i got this in a fab fit fun this is the matte lip crayon in florence fig this retails for 25 dollars so i really like this formula it is very lightweight it does not feel drying on the lips i love the magnetic packaging to it it's really cool so on one side it does have a matte lipstick and then on the other side it does have a lip balm so it's kind of like a two-in-one which is really cool i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it so here we have the lipstick and then the glowy part right there is the lip balm it's actually what i'm wearing today it's absolutely beautiful it's kind of good for like those no makeup makeup look type of days or very natural makeup for me it's like my lip color but better i absolutely love this and i'm really glad that i got this in my fabfitfun so the next item that I have is another lip item, and this is from NYX Professional Makeup. It is their Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Squad Goals, and this retails for $8.50. I did pick up mine at Ulta, so this is a lightweight formula that feeds very, very nicely. I wore this the other day while eating a frozen TV dinner that was pretty greasy, and honestly, it faded very nicely on my lips. It looked very natural. It does claim to have a soft matte finish. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. So here's what the shade looks like. It's very, very pretty. It does have like a moussey finish to it. And here the applicator is pretty interesting. You do have to like squeeze the product and then it comes up and then you just apply it on the lips. But it's a very pretty shade. I would definitely check out more of these from the NYX line. And when you get an Ulta, they always have sales on NYX. So it's always a good time to pick it up then. So I do have one more favorite and then I'm going to go to my flop. So this item is an item that I got in Therabox. 
and this is a warming eye mask from the Happy Alchemy shop. I tried looking online and I could not find the brand or the website, so I don't know if they're just not around anymore or they rebranded, but that's a little sad because I really love this product. The packaging is adorable. So this is a warming eye mask. So if you're not familiar with this, it's basically an eye steam mask. So I'm going to read what it says. It says these comforting, gentle eye steam masks help provide the relaxation you need after a long day of using digital devices. Sit back and relax as a warm, gentle steam, approximately 104 degrees Fahrenheit, relaxes tension and soothes your hardworking eyes. In just 15 minutes, you'll feel rejuvenated and well rested. So once you do open these, it does start to heat up immediately. So do not open it unless you plan on using it as soon as you open it, because otherwise you're going to be wasting it. But here's what it looks like. It honestly just looks like a little eye patch and it just, it feels so nice on the eyes. Like after a really long day or staring at electronics, kind of have like tired eyes or like a tension headache, this really does help. And I love that it heats up. Kind of sad that I can't find this brand, but I would definitely purchase something like this from another brand because I enjoy them a lot. So the last item that I have is my flop for the month. And this is from Glow For A Cause. It is their chapstick. I did get this in a $12 Ipsy bag. And I don't want to knock the brand down as a whole because I honestly feel like I just got like a bad product. But this is their chapstick. And honestly, I've never used it, but it smells horrible. Like it honestly smells like the formula has gone bad. And I've went on the Ipsy website to read reviews and it seemed like some people really liked it and some people didn't like it. Some people said it was beautiful, it smelled nice. Some people said it smelled really bad like mine. Some people even said they loved the first one so much that they went to buy a second one. And then surprisingly, they said that their second one didn't smell good. And like it smelled like mine. So I don't know if there's just something wrong with this formula, which is why I don't wanna knock the brand down as a whole because I think I got a bad product but honestly I'm just going to throw this away when I did try to like swatch it on my hands it came out like very clumpy and like very splotchy I just honestly I'm gonna throw this out and I never throw makeup away I'm not wasteful but this is just something that's definitely gone bad but all right that leaves us to the end of this favorite and flops video for the month of June if you've tried this product that was my flop please comment down below and let me know if it worked out for you just because I am really curious and also comment down below what some of your favorites are for the month because it's always cool to check out new products. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.